In this problem, we're asked to find the nearest thousands. The p-value in a left-tailed hypothesis test given a test statistic equal to negative 2. Before doing this problem, let's establish the relationship between p-value and the test statistic. The p-value and the test statistic are two values that are very closely related. First of all, the test statistic is a point on the x-axis which is negative 2 to the left of the mean in a normal distribution. In other words, two standard deviations to the left of the mean, which is 0. The p-value in a left-tailed hypothesis test is the area under the normal curve to the left of negative 2. So given the fact that we have a left-tailed hypothesis test and given a test statistic, to find the p-value, we need to find an area. Since we're taking the non-traditional approach and using the TI-83 or TI-84 graphing calculator, we can find the area under the curve using either the shade normal function or the normal cumulative density function. Using the shade normal function would show us the curve and then show us the area under the curve to the left of negative 2 and then finally tell us what that area is under the curve to the left of negative 2. The normal cumulative density function will give us the same result just without a picture. And frankly, it's a little faster. So going to the yellow second button, then the distribution button, and selecting number 2, the normal cumulative density function, the input will be the number to the extreme left, which in our case is negative infinity, or in terms of the calculator, negative e, engineering exponent, found over the comma, 99, then followed by a comma, and then the negative 2. And again, it's important to realize that when inputting negative numbers, you need to use the negative key next to the enter button, as opposed to the blue minus key. And here we see to the nearest thousands, the p-value, or area under the curve to the left of negative 2, is 0 0.023. In a very similar problem, we're asked to find the p-value in a right tail hypothesis test given the test statistic of z equal to 2. Again, it's important to understand the association between p-value and test statistic, so that if we know which tail the hypothesis test is being performed in, and if we're given the test statistic, we can find the p-value. Again, the test statistic is the number on the x-axis, which in this case will be to the right of the mean, which is 0. The p-value in the right hail hypothesis test associated with a test statistic of 2 will be the area under the curve to the right of 2 in the normal distribution. And we find the area under the normal curve either using the shade normal function, which will give us the area plus the diagram, or we can again simply use the normal cumulative density function going through second distribution and the number 2. The number on the x-axis furthest to the left, which will be the first input, is 2, followed by a comma, and the number furthest to the right is infinity, or E99. When we press enter, again we have the area 0 0.023 to the nearest thousands. Notice that when the z-score was negative, the area was positive, 0 0.023. And when the z-score was positive, the area was again positive, 0 0.023. In fact, the p-value will always be a positive number. And that's because p-value stands for probability value. And we know that probability is always a positive number between 0 and 1 inclusive. Finally, in this problem, we're asked to find to the nearest thousands the p-value for a two-tail hypothesis test, again with the test statistic equaling z equal 2. It turns out that our answer is going to be found in very much the same way as we did for a right-tail test, where the z is equal to positive 2. However, the difference between a right-tail test and a two-tail test, both having the same test statistic z equal to 2, is that in a right-tail test, the area under the curve is the area found only in the right tail. For a two-tail test, the p-value is going to be that area under the right tail multiplied by 2. So that using the TI-83, the simplest way will be to go to the second distribution and select the normal cumulative density function. We're going to go from the number 2 
up to the number infinity, or E99. We get the very same answer as we did for the right tail test. And now we'll just simply click the multiply button and then by 2, because there are two tails. And here we see that the area under the curve in two tails, that is the p-value for a two-tail hypothesis test with a test statistic of 2, is 0 0.0455 to the nearest thousands, 0 0.046. And those are the three different types of problems where you would be given a test statistic, z, on the x-axis, and then asked to find the p-value, which will be either the area under the right tail, left tail, or the area under both tails.